Blessed day, my people. So the topics more want to talk about in this video, woman murdered after refusing to have intercourse with gunman. Vendor was more done by men who stole his goods and gunmen in motor car shoot three men in St. Andrew. The first topic I'm going to talk about is the woman who refused to have intercourse and the man take her life. So I could jump in it. Trelawney MP, social media react to tragic death of Tamara Geddes. There is a serious problem among Jamaican men that we need to address. Entitlement, forceful iron not. Many times our women are met with incredible violence when their advances are not allowed or reciprocated. It is with a heavy heart that many have taken to social media on Saturday, June the 20th as the death of 36-year-old mother Tamari Geddes echoed throughout the island. Victor Wright, Member of Parliament for Northern Trelawney, the constituency in which Geddes live, described the usually quiet reserve district as shell-shocked. Condolences to the family. It was very summed when I visited the scene a short while ago as we are so shocked we have to get this crime monster under control. May her soul rest in peace, Wright wrote on his Facebook page. According to reports from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Geddes was at home watching television with her 10-year-old daughter around 8.30 p.m. on Friday, June the 19th when a gunman entered their bedroom to rob them. Geddes reportedly handed over some $16,000 in cash as well as her two cell phones. However, the gunman was not satisfied. He then demanded the young mother have sex with him, and when the order was refused, Geddes was shot in full view of her frightened child. The callous nature of the crime was especially too much for social media users to handle, as it is underscored a blatant disregard for a woman's right and freedom. Tamara Geddes was murdered in front of her traumatized child after refusing to be R.A.P.E.D. sexually assaulted. I feel overwhelmed. Some days it is hard to balance optimism with the high level of unresolved grief and trauma. Feel it for women and children in my country. One woman tweeted, The crime in Jamaica worse than COVID-19 virus. My prayers goes out to the family. May God comfort the family in such time as this. Another man wrote on Facebook, so yes, people, what a very sad and unfortunate situation. Imagine the dirty drunk or come for rob the people them. Well, allegedly, because maybe him don't have him hype on the woman and they don't plan out everything. But them same come for a bar zine. She gave him where she have $16,000. And the man still never satisfied, you know, want to do certain things in front of the woman daughter. And the woman said, no, she not depend on that, you see me? And the man take her life. That just goes to show you, you know, people say, some of them, man, you know, are some demon, you know, because you can't be a regular human being and think them way there. Believe me, even if you go for a robber and take her money or whatever, you know, do that and go on. Now, them left the little girl motherless, 10 year old. Zane still need her mother. And trust me, she might be traumatized for the rest of her life just based on seeing something like this happen to her mother right in front of her eyes. You see me? But one thing me really glad to say is that the man not take the girl life. Well, reading the article, it not say nothing the same take her life. You see me? And the woman him turn the pie pie pan. Um, but me glad to say the little girl still alive and all of that. You see me? But leave in the comments. Yo, ladies, me I tell you, I feel it for you sometimes because... Woman them go through all of things and yes, man go through things as well because not every man evil and this and that. But boy, it's like woman have no farmer rights. Them can't say no. And you know, some woman if them say no, when you see what go on, you see me? So the woman did basically just forgot jumping on the bed and lay down and do certain things in front of her daughter. And I tell you people, I really hope the police them work on this case where when time I come back and talk about it, I have some good news for you, see? I can tell you, say, yo, them hold him and you don't know, say, boy, well, I would prefer jungle justice for what I'm doing about but don't nobody go on talk and this are the problem I'm having in Jamaica because nobody can tell me, say, them not have no idea who committed something like this, you see me? Nobody at all in Jamaica no know. Nobody can tell me that. A lot of people know things who are going and them just keep it to themselves. Why? Because I don't feed them family. Nobody not feed them family now mourn. But when it reach a feed them step, then you see them a ball and I say, boy, if me did know how she did feel and Ray and Tay and all of them something there. People... Very, very sad time. And I'll tell a lie. I really feel this. Especially if you know, say, a 10-year-old daughter did it. No, sir. 
Boy, the gun man, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, probably the worst of the worst me ever seen in my life. Trust me. And sometimes when I read the news, people message me and say, I don't forget to attach to the topic. I don't forget to emotional and them things. But I tell you, when you see something like this, it's hard for those keeping your feelings certain way. Because at the end of the day, it could have been my sister, my mother, my daughter. You understand? So you have to speak up and I think staying silent... That now help nothing, you see me? That's why I wish a whole heap of people would have stand up and just burn a fire upon them wicked act here. But as I say, people, leave on the comments and let me know what you think about this. I'm going to move on to the next story. Gunmen in motor car shoot three men, one fatally in St. Andrew attacks. Detectives from the St. Andrew North Police are probing a shooting incident in which three persons were shot. One fatally along Maninzil Road in the parish on Friday. The deceased has been identified as 25-year-old Omar Black, a vendor of Maninzil. The Constant Spring Police reported that about 3.15 p.m., Black was standing along the roadway when he was pounced upon by armed men traveling in a motor car. The men opened gunfire, hitting Black several times. Further reports are that the gunmen then drove to another location nearby and shot two men who were also standing along the roadway. The gun men then escaped from the area in the vehicle in which they were traveling. The police were alerted and the three injured men were assisted to a hospital where Black was pronounced dead. The other injured men were admitted for treatment. So people, I don't know if I drive them when I drive around and them just decide say, yeah, what? Well, we're going to spray some people, you know, because you have some man who really high, you know. But maybe it can also be some form of linkage, like, you know, them know who them are go for, because you don't know certain area, man link with man, and only for turf or go on and them things. So we don't really know if anything like that. But either way, it's a sad situation. Man, them just uh, drive around and uh, spray people and all of them things there. But leave in the comments and let me know what you think about this. And we're going to move on to the final story. Vendor mowed down by men who stole goods in Clarendon. A roadside vendor who attempted to retrieve two bottles of his honey that were reportedly being stolen by men traveling in a motor car vehicle died after being mowed down by the same vehicle in Tollgate Clarendon on Friday. Reports are that the vendor was selling honey near Tollgate Primary School when men drove up in a vehicle and grabbed two bottles of the honey. Allegations are that the men were driving away from the location when the vendor attempted to retrieve his honey. Reports are that he fell in the process and he was run over by the vehicle. He reportedly died at the scene of the incident. The police were subsequently alerted to the development. A search has been launched for the suspected culprits, including the driver of the motor vehicle. So people, not even look of vending you can do nowadays. Everything the man them, I mean, I tell you, some of them people are just come for make your life miserable, you know. And you know what's a mess up is that the man are doing little hustling, he might do him little selling, you see me? Man could have probably out their teeth, you know. And that's one of the things them like we see when somebody a try, even if a bug juice in a matter. No shame not in your game when you hunt the money for your family, you see me? But it's unfortunate that them thing you have to deal with as a vendor. People are running with their things. Man, you get all a man a bag juice and things say I go go for the money and him drive off, you see me? So I them think the more time make all probably broke all some of the man them vibes and them go turn to all certain things, you see it? But the only thing I'm sorry is that him never just make them go on with it, you see me? Make them drive off, man, because you see you go run down the car and remember say you can't grease car wheel, you know, so... You end up a lose your life, which is very sad, as I said before, people. But leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. Stay safe. Bless upon yourself. I'm out.